Hello guys, it's a nice morning here in Kingston, Ontario. This is uh, me, Dan, and my son, Marlon. He lives here in Kingston. Yeah. So what are we gonna do today? We are going to go to uh, Rock Dunder and climb probably to the top. To the top, okay. Uh, Ontario is not very famous for any high mountains, but this is as tall of a mountain as it gets around here. So. We just stopped at the grocery store, got some small things for the hike, some drinks, some, something to eat, Marlin's uh, cheese buns, right? Okay, some cheese buns and we're gonna head out to the big mountain around here. Okay, see you guys up there. Bye. Okay, so we actually are making a stop on the way to the tall mountain. Uh, we're gonna do it the Canadian way. I'm gonna grab a coffee and what are you gonna get? I'm going to get a, a breakfast farmer's farm. Breakfast farmer's farm. So we didn't have breakfast, so we're gonna stop at the importance. That's, uh, mm -hmm. I guess, as Canadian as it can get. So we're just gonna grab something and then head on on our road. Okay, Maron, what are these handles? Hockey sticks, so I guess that you can find this only in Canada, hmm? Yeah. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, the importance. Get some breakfast, and get some coffee. Right, Marlin? Some delicious breakfast wrap. Okay. So, here we are at the importance. What did we get, Marlin? We got uh, two homeless wraps, one bacon, and one sausage. Yeah, and what's this? These are hash browns. Okay, two hash browns and a coffee from Tim Hortons. And guys, look at this table. It's a hockey rink. Huh? Well, that's Canada. Hmm? So, guys, this is uh, all together two breakfast and a coffee for $15, or 10 euro, or 170,000. Rupiah. Yeah, this is the importance. I want to show you even one more thing. That's a maple leaf. Look at it, it's just hockey sticks. So, Marin, how does it taste? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Still hot? <laughs> I wouldn't say hot, but it's warm. It's warm, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna try it out too. Bon appetit. You guys, as you see, southern Ontario is quite flat. There's not really any mountains around here. So we're heading half an hour up north from Kingston. Where there's first uh, little hills, I would say, and mountains. Up in northern Ontario, there's a little bit more. But you have to know that the highest mountain in Ontario is, I think, about 600 meters tall. And Ontario has 2 million square kilometers. That's uh, quite a lot. So, generally, it's quite flat. So, the one mountain here around Kingston. Uh, it's quite an attraction for hikers and people who want to go get climbing and hiking and be a little bit above the normal flat region here. So, here we're heading to Rock Thunder. Going up the hill, park our car somewhere up here and then go for a circle trail, I guess, all around the mountain. Right, Marlin? Yep. All around. Well, okay. I was more thinking going all the way up. All the way up and then around, back to the parking. Okay, yeah. Okay. Well, these are the forests of Ontario. Nice beautiful road up the hill. We just passed the little cabin where they actually 
where you pay but she said just get through pay on the way back so we didn't even have to pay now we're in here park and then go up the mountain I guess pay on the way out well it's not as busy as I thought it would be up here on a beautiful August summer day I thought there would be many people hiking on this parking lot there's nobody the lower one there's maybe seven eight cars so I guess we're gonna have a nice uh, lonely hike up here not that many people might be that we not gonna meet anybody around so Marlon are you ready to go for a hike yeah there you can see the first rocks so it's not as flat here okay guys this is the hiking map of this area so we just uh, we came up the highway turned left we parked here so we're gonna do at least this loop I think and Marlon discovered something huh what did you see I saw Dean Dean's island yeah and who's Dean cool. huh? um, me so I guess there's an island here in the lake it's called Dean's island so is it my island Marlon uh, would be nice, I'm, right? I'm guessing. <laughs> would be nice, but it's not. It's quite a big island. We can't afford that. Okay, let's go. So I guess because of COVID, they have a one-way regulated uh, loop, so you can't go straight. You have to go left. So you follow, just going one way, right, Marlon? Yeah. Okay. This is our hike, starting here. This is still flat, just at the parking. And soon it becomes rocky. Going up the hill. Yep. Yeah. So that's the end of the nice trail. Now we gotta climb up here. Okay. Oh, there's a little squirrel. Come. Okay, here along the trail, there's a cabin up here in the forest. I asked Marlon if he wants to go inside. He says it looks scary. So, let's check it out. Let's check it out. What is it? Huh? Is there anything inside? Have a little bit grown in, so I guess. Many moons later, I guess. Too many moons later. Locked. Locked. Here. It's closed. Yes, you cannot go inside. It's closed. It's locked. It used to be probably a place where you can stay here in case of bad weather. <laughs> or... Oh! You lost your water. But might be closed because of COVID. Might be closed because of different reason. reasons. I don't know. Even up there, it's closed. Kind of a weird place just along the way. Such a beautiful place here. Very quiet. The only thing you can hear is some animals around. Some flies buzzing, some birds, some crickets chirping. But otherwise, there's nobody around. Yeah, I love this majestic trees, some nice white oaks, some sugar maples.
well, we just kind of walked around the circle, came back the side path, and we're back at the cabin here in the forest. There's Marlin, he's wondering why there's just one giant big rock here. And the reason, guys, it's because this is where the Canadian Shield starts. So from here up north, this rock formation is hundreds of millions of years old. So that's why it's almost flat. It's probably one of the oldest rock formations in the world. Whereas like the Himalayas, the Alps are a very young mountain range. This year is very, very old. The interesting thing about the Canadian Shield and the Bedrock here in Southern Ontario is that you will find many trees who grow out of just a little crack in the rock and they, if they have some soil underneath, they even become a big tree. So this is how these cracks look like. Okay, Marlin is walking on the I'm walking. You can hear how dry it is. So it's so dry, it's very hot here in Canada now, right away. And this is uh, like so dry, just becoming little flakes when you crush them. And I guess this is the only thing which can survive, the only plant here surviving on the bedrock because there's no soil underneath right where it ends there's some more grass and some other plants but up on here this is the only plant growing and it's very very dry it's kind of funny it's like almost like a sponge or like corals it looks really interesting and I guess when it starts raining again it just comes back to life crazy nature right guys so here some barbed wire so back in the day, before it got a conservation area and like hiking area in the wilderness here in Southern Ontario, some farmer fenced it in so there would be cows walking here through the woods and grazing. And now just kind of growing back. A lot of trees there's some old trees which we would be here even when it was like more open and some grassland it's a nice beautiful oak tree it's some interesting tree here in canada southern canada a shag bark hickory because the bark is kind of peeling off it's very interesting okay it's time for a little water break it's very hot today. I find it's something like 33 degrees, maybe it feels even hotter because it's humid here in Canada these days. We are on a little elevated spot here, quite some rocks here. So we're hiding here in the shade of this tree. Just have a little break. I didn't really pay attention when we started. Might have been, uh, I have to see what time it is. Sorry, guys. Uh, must have been like half an hour ago, so I guess we started or we were here at 11 So let's see how long we're gonna take to the top And I enjoy it most of the time you walk through the forest. There's some spots here in the open uh, like on the open rock But so far that's yeah, good. It's good. I like it uh, It's actually on a lake here if we wanted we could go down the rocks later and maybe have a swim but we didn't bring anything to swim so maybe this was a mistake would be nice to get a nice uh, like jump in the water have a nice refreshing swim but I guess not today maybe another time okay so even though it's very rocky here in uh, southern Ontario there's a lot of swamps if maybe somebody wouldn't think of you guys but many swamps because the water can't go anywhere so it just fills these pockets so there's many lakes many swamps this year in the distance it's a beaver house okay 
we're here in the middle of the summer, so everything's dry. I can imagine if it's in the springtime, you still can see that it's a pretty wet spot here, quite low. So it's a nice path here through the swamp. But now you could walk anywhere, I guess. It's really all dry, as dry as it gets in the middle of the summer. Because there's no rain, it's hot. But in the springtime, you would be happy about this path. Okay, guys, this is so far the steepest spot. Marlon wants to get up really quick. He says his legs are tired, but it doesn't seem so when he's up on this steep spot. It's quite fast here. Hey, there he goes. It's nice, Marlon, huh? Huh? It's really nice. Break? Okay. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm going here on the rock. Quite fun, huh? Follow the arrows. It's like some giant stairs for a giant, huh? Okay, one step. Just like made for me. Hey. Okay. Getting closer to the summit, to the top of the mountain. Marlon said he's quite tired, he doesn't like the hike anymore. But then he all of a sudden ran away from me. Because I think he knows that the summit is right close here. So he wanted to be the first one. And in the end, he had so much energy, I guess, to run away from me. Oh, I think there he is. Come on. Okay, let's go straight. Okay, so we are coming close here. I got on a different path. Aaron got on a different path, but in the end, we are reaching the summit here, almost together. Marlon, ne 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 ne. Marlon, this way. Okay, here we are on the top of Rock Thunder. Ha, huh, Marlon. So this is the view. Okay, Marlon, huh? You're at the most beautiful lookout here in Ontario, huh? Is it nice? Yeah, look at this spot. You're standing on the edge. Look at the lakes down there. Beautiful view. This is really as beautiful as it gets. I think it's worth a hike, right, Marlon? Yeah. Yes, this way. It's time to go back. Okay, we're having some peaches at the top of the 
mom, right mom. Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? Sweet? No, it's a little bit hard, I think. But that's okay. Most important thing, we reached the top. We're happy, both happy that we're up here, right? Huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we are. It's a really nice spot. Beautiful nature here. Very nice. Just wilderness, forests and lakes. Okay, this is our little lunch here. This is Marlin's cheese buns. So buns with cheese on top and Marlin made a sandwich. Yeah. yeah. So we got some black forest ham and some cheddar cheese. Yeah. No. no. Marble cheese. Okay. So we're making a sandwich with cheese and ham. And it's quite delicious when you had a nice long walk and reach the summit. So I think it's pretty delicious. So it took us about two hours to get up here on top, which was just a nice a quick hike. Just taking it easy, enjoying it. So we spent another half an hour here, had something to eat, enjoy the beautiful scenery. And now slowly going back. It was really really beautiful and Marlin was complaining a little bit but in the end he loved it. Now I guess maybe he was just hungry. Yeah. But I think he was just hungry and after he had something to eat and something to drink, he's just the old Marlin again. <laughs> I guess you know this uh, Snickers commercial? Take a Snickers, you're not the... you're not yourself. So, yeah, now everything's fine. And we're back to the car. Okay, guys. So, this is where the loop around the summit goes back to the parking lot. So here we are around going back. This is the lake. This is Dean's Island across. And here we are going back to the car. And I guess too bad we didn't take anything to have a swim because we could actually walk down somewhere here and have a swim in this nice refreshing water. Here's another nice cabin in the forest. But everything's locked now. So you cannot go inside. Now, we can sit down here and enjoy the view. So here we are, back on the road again. That's the price for the entry to the conserva conservation area. Uh, the hiking, $10 to person. Here we are back at the house. Uh, Marlon just ran inside because it was so hot today. He's in his air-conditioned room now. Yeah, I just want to say a couple things to our hike. Uh, it cost us $10 to get into the hiking area. Uh, we spent some money for our breakfast and for the food up on the mountain. So I think maybe altogether about 50 bucks to get out there. Uh, I'm sorry about my video quality. It's not, uh, it just means uh, iPhone. I still hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, the other thing is I'm sorry that this video like ends up on her channel without her and Catalea. Uh, I still hope you enjoy like this little side video from Canada and it's not uh, just videos now from Bavaria because I just uh, am in Canada now. Hopefully next time when it's a little bit easier and uh, without Covid uh, the restrictions uh, we just uh, can get to Canada easy, me, uh, just me and Catalea, so we make a couple more videos all together. Yeah, so that's it from today, from our little hike. Uh, yeah, I thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like and comment. Um, yeah, just tell us you like hiking too. Uh, how was our little video here in Canada? Yeah, okay guys, thanks, bye.